What's going on YouTube? This is Mustafa Love with Hearthstone Media. First, I want to say thank you very much for the comments, feedback, and support I got on my last couple of videos. You can see them right here. Uh, I will put a little notification right there so you can click them if you missed them, but definitely come back and tune into this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, share, comment. It really helps the channel out. But uh, it was an overarching theme on the videos that I posted. A lot of people were asking me about the editing. Like they, the first thing they were saying, well, how do you do the editing or what do you use to edit? So I really appreciate that because that means that they like the way the videos look and that they were projected to the masses. Uh, so I decided to take you through the editing process first with the apps that I use and then through the editing of uh, actual project. Now, these projects take me anywhere from about one hour to four to sometimes even five hours. I've gotten a lot, gotten a lot better at it in my journey. So it's, I'm not having a five hour edits anymore, but sometimes it can take about four hours to edit a video. I'm going to streamline that down, but it's going to be about a two or maybe a three part series. So you're going to have to watch this video and then come back and watch the next and then come back and watch the next. I'm doing an intro for video one. I am not going to do an intro for video two or three. So this is going to be the intro for all of them. You're in it now. Thank you very much. Again, stay tuned. Let's get to it. So now, guys, I'm in screen record right now. And I am using my AZ screen recorder. Now, I tested about three or four different uh, screen recorders, and this has been the best one for my Android phone right now, the AZ screen recorder. So in screen recorder, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how we go back, how we go about getting an image. So say I wanted to add the YouTube logo into one of my edits. I can go find a YouTube logo from Google. Quite simple. I am going to screenshot this image. And again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. You could actually find a downloadable um, version of this app, but sometimes you, you click on one of these sites, it is very aggravating trying to find the downloadable version of these apps. But you can get a higher resolution, like if I wanted to go in here, maybe I visit this site. Let's see how that goes. This is gonna send me through a bunch. So you never know where this site is gonna take you. So this site takes me here. This is a bunch of ads. So I just save myself time by really just going in, downloading that, I mean, and uh, screenshotting that. So now that I have that screenshot, I can go to another great app <clears throat> that I'm going to put probably the, I don't know if I can put the link in the description. I'll try to put the link in the description. Background Eraser. This is one of the best background erasing apps, and I've tried a bunch of them. It is free, and it works as simple as this. Select your photo. Crop your image. Hit done, come to the background screen, hit auto. That will select every color that matches that. Doesn't work all the time exact perfectly, but if you boost the, the, the threshold up, it'll hit more colors right there, or it'll, it'll grab more of those whites. You can change the background so you can see if you got everything you needed. It is also another way to use this app. You can hit the magic button and go here and erase via this way. If I was to be a, a tracing or erasing a photograph where I wanted to kind of get around the edges, I can go here or the manual button and you can size up that. See how I'm sizing it up. The manual button will go to whatever I want to erase. <clears throat> now, if I want to take that back, I go to back, 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 and I can put all of that back. So now I'm going back to auto because I just want to get rid of this here, pinpoint that and let this go and that is going to get rid of that there. So now this is the YouTube logo. Now if I want to make it even more transparent, I could take out the white here, but I think this is the way the YouTube logo is supposed to be displayed. Done. I am saving that. That is going to a folder that is going to be titled Erase in my um, gallery. And now onto another app that I use. We're going to go to Snapseed. So Snapseed, I'm going to highlight this up. And I'm going to take a recent photo that I was working on. Let's see. This is an easy one to work with. So let's take this Space Jam photo. Now, this was a photo that I just screenshot. Screen, sh screen shooting is life. And now you see, this is set for 9 to 16, but it was set with this last photo. But that's an easy fix. Rotate. It turns the 9 16 or 16 by 9 around which is the the measurements for your thumbnails that you need 16 by 9. So now I have this image. I can go to my looks in Snapseed and I can
do an auto set to pro, uh, portrait, smooth, pop. You want to you play around with all these different things, see what they look like. That bright and change the whole that just changed the whole image going to morning. It just made it all bright, which is which is not a bad look for somebody that's trying to use a more colorful thumbnail. But see me, I want to darken this out. I want my look to be a little more cinematic. We growing around here and these are all our options. Now you can tune this image without the use of auto if you're a, a more of a detailed person. You can go here, select the brightness, scroll up and make that brighter yourself or darker. You can go into contrast. That, that actually makes the, 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 the focal point of the image pop. Your saturation, of course, if you know about saturation, is going to turn your, your cool and your warm. It's going to be more of a, a bluish gray scale all the way down to like almost black and white. To a very colorful orange, like a warmer look than a very colorful orange on your saturation. Go here, add some color in. Now, ambiance highlights and all these things. These are the things that you play with when you're in your spare time, when you're, you're using the bathroom or whatever. These are things that you play with. This is how you learn how to use these apps. So when you see somebody else... Uh, um, working with someone, you see somebody else's product, you say, oh, how did they get How did they get that like that? Or you wonder what software they're using. You probably got the same software at your fingertips. You just got to play around with it and find these things out like I did. Or take a tutorial like this. I'm glad you're here. So now I um, already got the image cropped the way I want. So now I'm just going to go into text. Um, all of these I said are different images and different um, variables and, and things that you can use to edit photos. Let's go to tools. Let's go to text. Now, Snapseed is a photo editor. It is more of a photo editor than it is a thumbnail maker. And I'll go to thumbnail maker in a second. So it doesn't have a lot of font options. It has very simple font options, but you might find an op option that works perfect for you as I did. So if I wanna do something a little more cinematic, I can say here, um, let's go here. While we're at it, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to me now. Or if I really want to say it, I want to say subscribe to me now. So we're going to blow that up really big. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, so the thing about Snapseed is once I lock this text and this text is locked in. Now I can go back and change it, but the functionality of changing is not that easy. It takes a little extra step. So this looks a little plain. Now you can invert that if you want that Hollywood look. Um, you can invert that and also drop the opacity. I think it's opacity, something like that. You know what I mean. You can drop this down so you can uh, see the image more, but I'm gonna bring that back up. You can change the color of the text. Some different colors here. They don't have a, a feature where you can actually create your own color, which is one thing I do hate. Um, so now if you had color on this text and you wanted to invert it, it would look like this. And again, you can drop that down. You can change this text here and I'm going to invert that again so you can see what some of these options are. I'm going to get this back white so you can see it. And these are some of the font options. They have preset options here. This is the little cute one. Um, that's actually really nice. Like this. And these are presets. Now you can create this. You can actually create this style yourself, line by line, if you want it. So let's go back to here and let's get this back white. Bear with me. I'm getting to the good stuff. So now, how I create some of my edits now. Now this is where the detail comes in. Got that white. I'm going to double check this. Subscribe to me now. I'm going to hit that again. So we and this is where the fun begins. So going to raise this up. And as you can see, now I'm using my finger here. Um, double fingers pinch. You guys know how to do that. So now let's have some fun with this image. Bets. So now I'm going to make this 3D since they don't have a 3D option on this app. I am going to create 3D just like that. It's just that simple. I think they taught us this in first grade. So now I just took this image and created a 3D version of it. And this was not something that was taught to me on the app. This is something I just figured out from playing around with it. I can make that go in different directions, however I want it to be. 
however you you want to angle your your 3d text and there you have it so this is a free app snapseed is free this is your thumbnail right here this is a great thumbnail maker especially if you find the font that you like it is very functional and and very easy as you see take seconds and right, so now we're going to back out of that app so again all my photo editors are grouped here all the socials are grouped here so i can easily get to all of my photo editors right here and we'll continue with the next episode hopefully you check back in for that we'll be going over another thumbnail maker and then going right into our edit what's going on guys thanks for watching and as always if you like these videos you can click my face here to subscribe or here to watch more videos happy you finally got some camera time <laughs>